Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Always the son of Noma is my name. Uh, you know that we are coming to the close of Africa Month. That is a month where we celebrate the cultural diversity of Africa, where we celebrate the racial diversity of Africa and a number of other things that make us unique as Africans. We also use this particular month to foster unity and cooperation among Africans. We also use this diversity, the celebration of this diversity to show that it makes us stronger. It mustn't be a source of our adversity. So this is because during the month of May, that is when uh, we celebrate the coming together of African luminaries like Hale Selassie of Ethiopia and Kwame Nkrumah, just to name a few, who decided to come together and say, let us form an organization that we'll call the Organization of African Unity, which was an organization that was instrumental in realizing the freedom of different African countries, the liberation from colonial rule. So 25th of May every year is what is called the Africa Day, where this celebration reaches its climax. So this week we visited an event that was organized and hosted by the Johannesburg Migrant Advisory Panel in Dorfontein. Uh, you will know JMAP, as they are called in short, is uh, a coalition of various organizations that include uh, COMSA, that include uh, a number of other organizations, NGOs, led by both South Africans and migrants as well as government departments like the city of Johannesburg and the departments, the Department of Arts and Culture. Let us see what happened at the event. <laughs> Right. Briefly tell us about what JMAP is and why you decided to organize this event. Uh, JMAP is a Johannesburg Migrants Advisor Panel. It's a platform that is formed uh, in the city of Johannesburg by the then mayor of Johannesburg, uh, Amos Masondo, in 2008 after the first xenophobic attacks in South Africa. It is a social cohesion platform that is leading all organizations that are operating within the auspices of the city of Johannesburg. 
in its boundaries from region A to region G. So it's an advisory panel consisting of uh, stakeholders that are non-governmental organizations that work hand in hand with the CTC Social Development Department. Uh, how many organizations are members of JMEP? Roughly? Uh, currently on the database of uh, JMEP we have uh, a membership that is ranging up to uh, 76 organizations that's the ones that are registered and, uh, I cannot name them one by one at the moment but uh, there are organizations such as uh, COMSA uh, there is uh, organizations such as DMR Refugees and Migrants Platform WIDA the organizations such as um, CVR Lawyers for Human Rights uh, so many organizations. And how significant is it for organizations to come together under one umbrella in the fight for the betterment of migrants' lives in South Africa? Uh, apparently, we have seen some positives, especially in the city of Johannesburg, because for the city or for the government, for the local government itself or even the national government, to listen to somebody, there should be a platform created. And in this regard, as we sit in JMAP, as the chairperson as well, I sit in what is called JMEC, which is also uh, the where we sit with the councillors, where we sit with the mayor, where we sit with the policymakers of the city. That's where now we escalate issues that have emanated from organizations into the administration. And in, in, in JMEC, that's where we have more government departments such as uh, Face, uh, DERCO, all those organizations that has to do with uh, migrants. Uh, we meet to discuss migrant concerns in, those, in that platform. And then today is Africa Day and you've organized this event. How significant is it uh, first in the fight against, um, in the fight for migrants' rights and secondly in social cohesion? As you can see uh, when you came here, it's not only one entity that that is there. We have got uh, migrants, we also have locals, even the performance that we are having, it has been uh, brought in from the region G, which is Orange Farm, through social development, uh, uh, arts program, and the uh, Ministry of Arts and Culture within the city. So what I can say is, uh, it's a quite achievement, because it touches quite uh, different people with different diversity. Okay, and then after the celebrations, after uh, this event today, what is the way forward? What plans do you have in the fight for social cohesion in South Africa? Uh, apparently, this is uh, today is a, co a commemoration. It's a day to celebrate our achievements as Africans. And in that regard, we also have got other lined organizations with our various stakeholder organizations that will be going through uh, in different areas. Like, for example, we also next week we've got a, an event that is going to take place in Wembley Stadium uh, that's uh, under CACS. It's for social cohesion where we have brought in different artists, youth artists from all angles. So it's not like it's a one time or a one day thing, but it's a prolonging thing. And also as we are going into the youth month, from the youth month, we also celebrate the uh, International Refugee Day. So we have got programs that will keep coming. My name is Prime Sarima. I'm the founder of the Disabled Migrants Rights Network Organization, which is guided by the vision that is constructed towards um, uniting vulnerable migrants, people with disabilities. Uh, Africa Day, especially today, prior to the actual day, we are quite grateful because the city of Johannesburg gave us an opportunity to bring people from different backgrounds to celebrate such a unique day. And uh, I think this year is quite unique because uh, there is much improvement on policy which involves inclusiveness of people with disabilities. I define black as what it's become. I define black in America as knowing the sound of the gunshot from the same street before, carrying away the sound of a knock at the door. And South Africa is being free but having a shackle mentality to go against everything that's possible and failed and believing in life in the end.
and it's lovely as we are very well shaped and all the things that are the same. I define it as looking at our light skinned people of the same race as the most of the high order people who are the healthy part of the whole family. You get the knife of coke. I don't need fantasy. I find it as being open to climbing to the top of the rank of whatever cost people who are working day by cost.